Hello, video game fashion vigilantes. I am here on Instagram. And don't worry, I'm not trying to stalk or trash some random Instagrammer's fashion or anything like that. No, because we are looking at a fake Instagram that has been created for what everyone believes to be is the new champion for League of Legends. Whether or not that's true, I was... Uh, excited to hop on and talk to you all about what we have here because this is a new approach for League to announce their characters and we have already so much personality and so many different looks and just this whole fake backstory, fake childhood photos of this character. It's like really, really a step up. Uh, but what I'm interested in, of course, is the fashion. So we're going to be looking at that. Uh, one of the things that strikes out to me, obviously, right off the bat, is her hair. This thick, long, wavy hair. This was the kind of hair that everybody wanted, like, five years ago. So fairly recently, where you had these beachy wave looks, or mermaid hair, where you wanted that really thick very uh, loose curls and oftentimes what you would do is you would spray sea salt spray in your hair to give it that textured look if you weren't near a beach or if you were at the beach it kind of does that naturally and then you have the ombre which was also part of that look too so sometimes you had one color uh, bleeding into another and the ends are dyed differently and I can assume with Seraphine I guess because she, at, at birth she had pink hair can tell by her eyebrows <laughs> that at some point she at least dyed it purple so we're gonna go off the fact that she has naturally pink hair i guess but what comes with i guess naturally pink hair is the struggle to coordinate it with outfits and that's where you really see the style either shine or not is when you have vibrantly colored hair you kind of have to work with that in every regard to your outfit because it's like such a bright part already and what i think um seraphine does really well is she sticks to one kind of tone of color she likes her cool tones she wears a lot of blue a lot of purple a lot of grays and I think that makes her fashion all look well put together. I really like this outfit a lot because she's got sort of like the blue in the shirt, the jeans and the other shirt, the plaid shirt she has tied around it, all kind of go with her hair, which means that it doesn't look out of the ordinary. It doesn't look you know, it doesn't, it's not the most distracting thing. And I think because she is a, mu a musician, she has to have these like picture perfect Instagram posts. But I also think it's really cool that she, when she wants to have a little bit more edgy look, she'll wear those like heels lace up boots that are just fabulous. And not, it's a fashion statement. It's not just like casual sneakers. She has a style to her. She has her glasses, which I don't know if those are just fashion glasses or real glasses, but also very in lenses. We have the tortoise shell uh, oversized look that just everything, everything is mocked, uh, not mocked, but like parodied from, from actual like successful Instagram feeds. Everything is very are coordinated you scroll through and it's very pleasing to the eye all the purples and blues but then sometimes she also will go outside of her wheelhouse of the cool tones and bust out this yellow jacket or another one i really like is this i don't know if this is a robe or a trench coat but now i'm starting to think it's a robe because it's in the morning but if it's a trench coat which you should definitely get one it would look really good so she can step outside the cool tones but overall i think the style is oddly similar to what we were talking about last episode with ooblets in this sort of like portland hipster style fashion that even at a very young age she seemed to have adopted i see that peter pan collar young girl 
the plaid is obviously another big indication of that. But then also just typical casual outfits that you anyone would wear, right? Like tank tops and shorts, baggy shirts, uh, a little bit of like a print pant along with it. Like all very typical stuff that you would see of a young girl. So I think they did a really good job of making Seraphim into a realistic character in terms of style and personality i don't think this is something way out there that no human female would ever wear like very realistic uh these are actual photos i'm sure that they photoshopped the face on and, and altered so these are real women wearing real clothes which is what we love to see 